My name is Teresa Alleman and I work for the National Renewable Energy Laboratory where I'm a senior fuels chemist. It is really nice to see more women coming up in a STEM field and seeing that passion for fuels and for science. We bring a unique perspective to the development of ASTM standards and I think that's what makes the consensus process so powerful. My name is Laura Woodburn and I work very closely with a lot of amusement parks. Mentorship and coaching is so important to me. Education is so important. And making sure that women's voices are heard. At Hershey Entertainment and Resorts, our industry is all about creativity and innovation. And so that's why I like to make sure that the ASTM standards is something that we're constantly talking about, making sure people understand why it is that we do what we do. My name is Elena Messina. I've worked at the National Institute of Standards and Technology for almost 25 years. I got into robotics because I liked mechanical engineering and electrical engineering, and I like to understand how it all fit together. I wasn't really thinking about, someday I'm going to try to make it easier for people to use robots to save lives, but I think that that can really motivate people. In order to make it mean something, it has to find its way into the real world. And that's where you get into standards. Young Lane McFarland, research scientist. Standards development has changed. There's been so many more women attending and want to get involved and in becoming very active participants. I'm actually the secretary for our subcommittee. I have a really enjoyable job of interacting with the members and it's just a lot of fun building that camaraderie with these women. Taking that leadership role has really been critical for me to develop and be more active in ASTM as well as in my career. My name is Kathy Morgan and I have the great pleasure of being the president of ASTM International. I do see our membership diversity changing and it's very exciting. It's really energizing for me to walk around an ASTM committee week and see a lot of young professionals, to see a room full of women. ASTM's strength is having this diversity. Standardization's strength is having a diversity. Standards need different points of view. They need input from people from different walks of life. As we get more diverse, you get ways of thinking about problems that haven't been discussed. Committees represent the industries that they support. So I think that the level of diversity and the number of women you see in any given committee is reflective of the number of women in that industry as a whole. It's important to join ASTM if you want to help build and shape the future of what you do. I would love to see more women working with our technical committees. I would really encourage them to jump in and get involved in standards. I would love to see them championing new work items. I would love to see them taking on additional leadership roles. And as we say at ASTM, it's gonna help our world work better.